Hey, what's up guys? This is Ivan Rami from Bot and Cop Bot Support back again with another video. This video will cover my stellar setup for Target Sports Cards. Make sure to watch my previous videos which I covered the Target consoles and sessions. If you have not already joined Bot and Cop, I 100% recommend you to. These videos are going to be based off of those written guides that we already have in the group. Um, Bot and Cop has monitors and alerts for every site such as Amazon, Walmart, Target, Best Buy, um, and more. These monitors are going to give you those alerts for when, for when high, high demand items like the PS5 restock. We have all the guides and one on one bot support you need in this group. So let's go ahead and dive into the setup. I'm going to grab a SKU real quick for um, our cook group. Let's go sports cards. Uh, let's go ahead and grab uh, this prism. Perfect, so now we can launch our Stellar. I'm gonna make a new task group, YouTube Sports Cards. Perfect, so now that we have this, if you watched the previous video, you're gonna see a lot of similarities with this setup, um, but the key differences with sports cards, they're gonna be shipped to you instead of pickup. So you're going to see the modes that I recommend you to use so you can monitor this 24-7. Let's go ahead and use our monitor. Um, so with monitor, I recommend four. Um, these, the, as I said before in the previous video, these monitors are eyes for your checkout. Um, so these actually do not check out at all and they won't link it to an account. That way you don't get banned. Uh, with multiple monitors, you're having those extra set of eyes to check when something's in stock. Let's go ahead and use my proxies. Um, so what I use is actually uh, some ISPs. Um, they've been working well with Target. Also, you want to use a Target red card. Uh, most of the sports cards that are on Target are red card exclusives. So make sure if you haven't already signed up for Target red card, you can get the debit or the credit. I just went ahead and went with a debit because they do not check with your credit so it does not mess with your credit score. Let's go ahead and paste that SKU back in here that we got from our cook group. Um, for delay I'm going to go ahead and put 5k. This is a safe uh, safe, safe value to have in your uh, monitor. It's going to be staggering up by 1000 which you'll see in a bit. For mode this is the most important part. You'll want to have API 2. This mode uh, basically allows you to monitor and not get banned as often, so you'll definitely want that. Radius, you do not have to uh, fill in since we're going to get this shipped to us. And with reset delay, go ahead and put 5k as well. Alright, we got one complete, and I'm going to go ahead and make four. Like I said, these are just multiple set of ice, that way we'll have backup on our Stellar. Awesome, so we got those monitors set up. If I start them, it's gonna say not found. That's perfectly fine. Um, target go target does not um, display these pages until they're about to drop them. So it's perfectly fine. Just leave it running with not found. I leave this running and as soon as they're in stock, it'll say uh, in stock and then uh, make your other tasks go ahead and start checking out. So I'm going to go ahead and stop these right now until we make our Hype 2 task. So this will be the Hype 2 task that will be checking out for you. Uh, go ahead and click shipping. Like I said, sports cards get shipped to, to you. For delay, let's go ahead and go with 3,500 again. Uh, quantity, you can actually put for some items it's three, for others it's five. It really depends on the SKU. I'm going to go ahead and be safe and put three. Uh, for this, actually, you do not need to fill out since we already have a monitor linked to this. Um, as I said, uh, here's our YouTube tutorial session. If you haven't watched that video already, I'll link it in the description. And let's check out delay. Let's go ahead and just put 1,000 just to be safe. And it adds a little bit of security for the anti-bot but I haven't really seen a big difference I'm just playing around with it so 1000 is a good number 
make sure you have this watch task that way it uses those monitors that we just created and also use your override payment that way your target red card will be used so this looks perfect I'm gonna go ahead and create this so now if I start all um, these are gonna say not found and this is gonna say waiting for monitor ping that's basically it for this setup it's really similar to our target console setup um, in the next video let me know what you guys want to see or if you have any issues uh, I'll definitely tackle that for with you guys but other than that hopefully you guys have a great day and thank you for watching